Memorial Day is a very special day for all of us here at home. But sadly, in places like Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, and other parts of the world, Memorial Day is just another day in a dangerous war zone. The meaning of the day is still the same, but it's impossible for our fighting men to enjoy the day as we do. Many of our troops are on their second, third, or even fourth deployment, doing their job so that we might enjoy another Memorial Day. Let's take a moment to remember their dedication, loyalty, and sacrifice through the words of a soldier who used a deck of cards in place of a Bible. It's possible these timeless thoughts and words are still relevant for this Memorial Day. A young soldier was in his bunkhouse all alone one Sunday morning in Afghanistan. It was quiet that day. The guns, the mortars, the landmines hadn't made a single noise. The soldier knew it was Sunday, the holiest day of the week. And as he was sitting there, he, he pulled out an old deck of cards and laid them across his bunk. Just then the sergeant came in and said, soldier, why aren't you with the rest of the men? The soldier said, well, sir, I just thought I'd stay behind and spend some time with the Lord. The sergeant said, looks to me like you're gonna be playing some cards, boy. The soldier said, no, sir. You see, since we're not allowed to have Bibles or other spiritual books in this country, I've decided to talk to the Lord by studying this, this deck of cards. The sergeant asked in disbelief, well, how do you propose to do that, soldier? And the soldier started with this story. He said, you see, Sergeant, the ace reminds me there is but one God. The two represents the two parts of the Bible, the Old and the New Testaments. The three represents the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The four is for the four apostles, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. When I see the five, I think of the five wise virgins. There were ten, but only five were glorified. The six is for the six days it took God to create heaven and earth. And the seven is for the day God rested from his great work. The eight is for the family of Noah and his wife, their three sons and their wives. God saved the eight people from the flood that destroyed the earth for the first time. When I see the nine, I think of the lepers Jesus cleansed of leprosy. He cleansed ten, but nine never even thanked him. The ten represents the Ten Commandments God handed down to Moses on tablets of stone. The jack is a reminder of Satan, one of God's first angels, but he got kicked out of heaven for his sly and wicked ways, and now he's the joker of eternal hell. The queen stands for the Blessed Virgin Mary, and the king stands for Jesus, king of all kings. When I count the number of spots on all the cards, there are 365, one for every day of the year. There's a total of 52 cards in a deck, one for each of the 52 weeks in a year. The four suits represent the four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Each suit has 13 cards, and there are exactly 13 weeks and a quarter. So you see, sir, when I want to talk to God and thank Him for all He's given me, I just pull out this old deck of cards and they serve to remind me of all I have to be thankful for. Well, the sergeant stood there speechless and finally with tears in his eyes and pain in his heart, he made a request. He said, soldier, would you do me a favor? May I borrow your deck of cards? No. 